Yeah, this is you, right? There we go. There's only one way to uplift the start of the first steam day here at Gold Hill Middle School. The helicopter's coming. By bringing in the big guns, literally. Everybody really excited, saw the whole thing, came down. The pilots of the helicopter, really cool, came in, kind of did a swoop, did a pass by, turned around, and then kind of blew a little bit of air at everybody and then came and landed. So really, really cool opportunity for us. While many wanted to pilot this AH-1F attack helicopter. The guy in the back is the main pilot. I'm the co-pilot I sit in the front. Some would rather just be along for the ride. I don't mind riding, but flying, just no thank you. Regular turtles cannot tuck their head all the way in. But it was near impossible to be a passenger in this interactive event. This is the drivetrain, that's one subsystem. We're lucky enough to have Steam Day here at Gold Hill Middle School. We've got a bunch of presenters out here and our kids are having a bunch of really good opportunities to, to see all these job uh, opportunities that they may have coming here in the future. How many times do you, on average, breathe per minute? What's our 16 range? possible futures for these eighth graders from everything to robotics, drones, boating, law enforcement, EMTs, firefighting, even lessons on how to use the jaws of life. Good job. But opening up all these new lessons had an impact on these Gold Hill Middle students. Really enjoyed the ER workers because we've learned about like blood pressure and like what they experience there. And making me think about the military. It just seems really cool. They're like the different parts of the military, like flying the drones and like doing that. Like you don't have to just like fight, but like you can also be like behind the scenes. I think boating pops out for me a lot because I grew up around it as a kid. And then aviation always sticks out to me. I just love how you get to focus on being in the air and it's just completely different. No, it's an experience unlike any other. Whatever the career is gonna be, make something that you know you'll enjoy. For Lake, he enjoyed the assortment of the different steam stations. I love this event because it you get to see everything. You get to like think what you're interested in, what you're not interested in. So there's just a lot of variety for everybody. It's kind of fun, huh? That variety included virtual reality stations that Brooke enjoyed. She appreciated all the opportunities to interact with these vocational experts. One of the guys was like um, from the military. He was like, pay attention in class because they really get you ready for like the real world. Real world, and they're like they're also giving like really good life advice to what to use, like inside and outside the classroom. About 30 seconds to rotate stations, everybody. With 15 minutes at each station, these eighth graders had opportunities to get hands-on involvement. For Juliana, she was specifically pumped to hear more about a potential career in the medical profession. In high school, they do have a lot of like health science stuff, and the ER workers. Um, they helped me kind of narrow down my selection. And now I'm kind of focusing on do taking all the classes of health science throughout all my years of high school. We're moving to our next station, everybody. Gold Hill Middle School Assistant Principal David Chesky believes that this STEAM vocation celebration enhances their classroom lessons. I think they take the information that we're trying to get to them in the classroom and they're bringing that out here, talking to people and, and realizing, hey, what I'm learning in the classroom, some of these uh, techniques and strategies that my teachers are trying to teach me for real world application, they're really happening out here. All right, thank you. Perfect.